adventures here with a pickup video. It's not going to be a pick up and play video because unfortunately there are quite a lot of items in here and if I waited until I record a video on them for a start of the video it would be too long um, <clears throat> and I never get around to it. So these are all from the UK. Uh, they're from an eBay site I think it's called Rock Rubilia. Um, and they are a whole heap of UK software for various systems um, and they're sort of like box sets well collections of items and it was the because um, obviously I can't attend any of the UK fairs over this and these titles a lot of them are a dime a dozen um, and some of my system my, I do really like my retro computer systems and even though most of these things I will play not by using the original tape um, having the original tape uh, will spur me on to try out the games using one of my um, you know, SD solutions and it's just nice rounding out the collection. So these are going to come out of this box in all sorts of order. Actually there's the logo of the, of the site there. And the guy was uh, very nice of, um, here we go, got an eBay shop and he has lots of bundles of, you know, they're fairly common titles but um, I wouldn't necessarily see them over here. Um, I'll go through them. Some, some, this one's even in a blister pack. Whether or not, or not I keep them in the blister pack is another thing. Um, but I do like, in general, the Master Trunks games. So you'll get a few Master Trunks games here. So this one is actually for the Spectrum and the Amstrad. And it's Camelot Warriors. Just, you're not going to be able to see the screenshot, so I will progress through these fairly quickly. Now these came in bundles, so there were like 10 games in each bundle. So there are some pretty random games here. So uh, for the Amstrad again, we have Jonah Barrington's Squash. You've got to remember these are only a couple of dollars each, so and we're probably going to jump around systems here. Uh, so for the Commodore 64, I've got the Quest for the Golden Egg Cup. I've never heard of that one. That one looks very interesting. Uh, for the Commodore 64 again, we have Sweep. Once again, as you can see, it's a master, like a master on a collection of games. Um, for the Commodore 64, we have T-Bird. Looks very interesting. You hit Commodore 64 section here. Um, I think this is Matic. It's like some sort of an adventure game. Now, I believe I've played this one before, Commodore 64. This is Sidewinder 2. Like a cool shoot em up there. Um, Commodore 64 again, Pulse Warrior. Also looks very interesting. Yeah, so. uh, Venom, it's another adventure game. Uh, Speed King, which I think I've played for other systems. There's no screenshots on the back of that one. And Advanced Basketball Simulator. That looks like a lot of pen. Very nicely packaged, by the way, lots of bubble wrap in here. So we're going to another section here. So, uh, oh, this is actually for the Atari 800. And it's Gun Law. No screenshots. What's this one for? right next to the other one so possibly this is by oh no Amstrad so this is from Bulldog software Galatron I'm I think I got a Bulldog collection from Amstrad oh cool for the Atari 800 it's Ghostbusters uh, for the Amstrad we have Octoplex. I have virtually no Amstrad games, so it's just really nice to get some. And there are some uh, bigger box titles in here as well. Let's keep going. So Amstrad, we have ATV Simulator. Looks quite good. 
Mastronics put out a lot of stuff. Uh, Jack and the Beanstalk for Amstrad. Looks quite colourful. Uh, Universal Hero for the Atari 800. Uh, Ninja for the Atari 800. I have heaps of um, left cartridges for the Atari 8 bits, but um, I think I've got two tapes currently. Uh, Amstrad, Mine Trap. Mine Trap, it's a bit of a puzzle game. Uh, Amstrad is a copy of Venom as well, which is that adventure game. Uh, Kickstart Off Road Simulator for the Atari 8 bits as well. Colony for the Amstrad, I'm do that one. Looks quite interesting. Um, now, Amsoft, I'll take this for the Amstrad as well. We have the Galactic Plague. Just checking on that. Yeah, I'll, look, I'll assume that one's going to be for the Amstrad. Um, and Grange Hill for the Amstrad as well. Uh, Anarchy for the Amstrad. And what more is that? That is right on the side. Alkira. Don't know what the hell that one is, but that's with the Amstrad as well. Might be some sort of a shoot 'em up type game. So I said this video could get long, so as I don't normally do these just pick 'em up type of videos. Alright, I'll just flick to these bigger ones because they're in the way. So Amstrad, we have Kettle, a slightly larger box game. Uh, Cisco Heat. Racing game, a bit like Outrun or Chase HQ. Cool. Uh, Nether Earth. Really haven't heard of most of these games, but it looks like a, um, a 3D isometric. Oh, cool. Cut of Acorn Electron games. I particularly uh, like this one because this is, I played this. This is the first game I played on the BBC Micro. So this is the Acorn Electron version of Star Whoops. Starship Command. That's the instructions fell out then. Um, and it's quite a cool game. Your ship stays in the centre, a bit like Time Pilot, and you fly around and shoot things and... Um, oh yeah, they, they gate fold, that's why the instructions fell out. And to... Um, I also got this one called, these were quite cheap, Boxer. So just a couple of Amstrad titles to round out things there. So part of the bigger box bundles for the Amstrad, I got uh, War in Middle Earth. That looks particularly cool. So depending on time thing, I may do a video on a particular system like the Amstrad and play a few of these games and do a video at some stage. And this is a collection of games, Gargoyle Classics. It, there we go. So we've got Suivo's World, which is like a uh, 3D isometric. Tina Nog, we've got a fighting game, Dundarek. Uh, don't know about that one. Uh, Mars Sport, which is supposed to be not a too bad game. Heavy on the Magic, so a couple of interesting um, games there. And another collection, which is your, your more your board games. We've got Scrabble, Monopoly, and Cluedo, all for the Amstrad. So until all those large box ones, and I think those blistered ones were in that lot of tin. And yes, there is more. So there we go. Right, now we're going to get some repeats here. So this one's for the Atari 8-bit. We have a copy of Feud. We've already had that one out for the C64. Uh, we have Invasion. Atari 8-bit, 
180. Oh, cool. Attack of the Mutant Camels. That looks really colourful. Really looking forward to playing that one. Definitely. Do some video on some of these Atari ones. Um, is that Bomb Fusion? So, Bomb Fusion. Looks like a bit of a platformer. Now, I don't actually have... I have a tape player for my Atari 8-bit, but I don't have the um, special DMA ca uh, cable that you need, and they're quite expensive. Um, so, all of those Atari games, I'll probably never use the physical tapes. I will use um, my um, Atari Max Flash Cut. I've just got to find an appropriate image that I can get to work on that, but actually having a physical game will drive me onto that. So, we've got a few more Amstrad titles here. We have Grange Hill. Core. Bit of a pixel bit of platformer, I reckon. Code name Matt 2. This is a bug bite collection, I think. Xeno. Uh, and straight again. Some sort of a sports or racing game. Uh, Red Scorpion. Bit of a go at a. Um, and a vector based title. Uh, okay, back over to Atari. Dispatch Rider from Mastertronics. No screenshots of that one. And Master Chess. So, got a pretty good uh, Mastertronics collection enhancement there. Always, always a bit of a um, soft spot for Mastertronics games. Was it the old uh, things I could afford back in the day from my MSX machine? Um, and you notice know, I've got quite a few Amstrad games here because I, I basically had two Amstrad games in total in my collection. So, so I know all of this is uh, these games are not going to be um, you know fairly average, but there might be some gems in here. So Chubby Gristle, another platformer. It really is going to take me some time to do this. Oh, and I was most interested in this one is Elevator Action for the Amstrad. I quite like Elevator Action. I've got uh, that one for the MSX and other things. Uh, Cat Trap Planet of the Cat Men. That one. It's more one of one of the bug white mines. Uh, Terra Mix. Uh, Mission Omega. Oh, looks interesting. more. Right, back to Commodore 64, we've got a copy of the Squash game. Ah, Garpass. Yeah, so this is Garpass for the um, 64. It's supposed to be a pretty good version of Galaga. And we have Continental Circus. That looks very cool. If it's anything like the screenshots on the back. Oh, hmm. I'm going to have lots of fun going through these. And then we have the quest for the Holy Grail for the Gumball Siege Ball. Love Monty Python. Uh, Angle Ball. Bit of a pool simulator. I've got the MSX version. It's quite good. Agent X2. Bit of a pixel perfect platformer adventure, I reckon. Uh, switching back on the episode. Now I know this game's bad on all systems, so it's a view to a kill. One of the worst games. <laughs> James Bond games that was ever released. It was one of the games bought for the MSX back in the day. It was very, very average. Oh, and I've heard good things about this one. This is for the Commodore 64. Gemini Wing. Space Hunter, no screenshots, but I don't know a lot about that's an early Mastronics one. And oh, cool. There we go. Silkworm. That will be an excellent game. Now, is there anything else hiding in here? I don't know if there is. Oh no, just lots of nice nice bubble packaging, which is always very good. So hopefully I haven't bored you to tears with a plain pickup video on my channel, but um, there's no way I'm going to be able to record gameplays of all of those in any decent amount of time. 
I will play them over time, um, um, probably a system at a time, and I may record some videos on specific ones that I like at a later stage. But I just thought you'd be interested in seeing what I got there, and obviously that adds uh, quite a few titles to just fill out certain areas of my collection, because once again, Commodore 64, I don't actually have that many physical release games for it, so that, that adds more to that. I've got a lot of tapes that don't have cases and things like that, or copies. Um, I've got a few discs, once again, loose with no packaging and everything like that. And if you haven't got the sense by now, I do like collecting my packaging and having physical games. So I could have played any of these games already using some sort of uh, digital solution, which, by the way, I don't have the Amstrad. Uh, we'll have to actually load these and take to the Amstrad. But for the um, Atari 8 bit, I've got a Atari Max cart. For the um, Commodore, I've got the 1541. So I could have played any of these games before, uh, but I tend to not play games that I don't have. It's just the way I am and um, how I like to play my games. Alright, I hope some of you found this video interesting. I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.